viewers all over the world welcome to another wonderful moment i want to highlight major end time events that has been happening since the beginning of third week of september 2022 during my last video i explained that from third week end time events will be accelerated with high magnitude ranging from the war between russia and ukraine another part of the world and natural disasters and I stated that we should take note of 24th of September. Now, the following are the major events that are taking place since the third week of September. On the 14th and 15th of September, Pope Francis and other world religion leaders took steps towards one world religion known as Chrislam. Yes. Pope Francis uh, led other world religious leaders to adopt one religion known as Chrislam and this will usher, usher in the new world order. A magnitude of 7.5 earthquake shakes Mexico on anniversary of two previous tremors. You see, Mexico uh, they, they were celebrating um, uh, anniversary of two previous tremors and on that same day a, a magnitude of 7.5 earthquake hit Mexico again another earthquake of 6.9 magnitude hit uh, Taiwan in Lungu yes in Lungu Taiwan with maximum intensity then on the 24th of September so many major events took place at different places which made the day an exceptional one ranging from strong magnitude earthquake of 4.8 in Cascadia then strong typhoon is Japan and this this I think this should be the strongest typhoon in the history of Japan. Then a hellish storm hit Germany with irreversible damages. Then deadly storm hit Central and Southern Europe. Then floods in uh, Bernardino. Then another flood in California, Chicago, Hawaii. Then earthquake took place in Guinea. Yes, in New Guinea, yes. Ed ed earthquake took place in New Guinea. Then, flood took place in Philippines uh, and in Mexico. Then in Nepal and Karnataka. Then another flood in Bengala. Then typhoon in South Korea. Typhoon in Japan. Floods in Pakistan and so on. You can see a lot really happened on the 24th. Most of the event. Uh, happened simultaneously like never like, like never before on the 24th of um, September you can see that on that same day uh, the United Nations General Assembly they were in the meeting I think they've started the meeting before that I don't know but most of what they discussed was based on a major global crisis going on so a lot of things happened from that 24th of september and from the third week third week of uh, september then another key event was fiona slams atlantic canada causing widespread destruction the massive earthquake was discovered moving across the plate i want us to take a look at this from etn news right, welcome yes, to ETN ETN news. News. let's take a look i got something to share with ETN you news. and that is a big quake on the way we have a large quake moving around the plate as we speak don't know where it's going really it could go down toward chile go puerto rico it could go to the west coast I'm not sure, but the signs are showing it's coming over this way. Toward Tonga, Indonesia, New Zealand. The main thing is, 
If you live on the Ring of Fire, be prepared for this quake. It could be a 7 plus. And it has to be a 6.3 and up, but it has to be, you know, it could be a 7 plus. Because this is a big quake. Because of the, the one thing I'm looking at is we'll move over here toward Chile. And we got around west northwest of San Antonio. We got a 4.2, 138.1 miles deep. That's a deep quake. Then we move across the plate toward the Tonga region. Okay, Fiji, 5.4 earthquake, 375.8 miles deep. That is deep. Okay, then we move on over toward Vanuatu, and we got 133.8 miles deep. All right, we're getting ready to have a large quake. And I think it's going to come over through this way. New Zealand, you need to watch your area. Up through Tonga. I can't say exactly where it's heading. But I think it's going to head over this way. So if you live anywhere around the Ring of Fire over in this area, just be prepared for a large earthquake. And we got this one up here in Hawaii. Hawaii just keeps acting up. We just got a 3.5. And that's east, southeast, uh, east, northeast of Pahala, 19.3 miles deep. But these are normal because this one here, 2.5, that one's normal too. It's southeast of Pahala, but it's 19.6 miles deep. That's it down in the chambers. That's always normal right there in that area. Always movement going on. But then we got over here on the volcano, 2.8 minus. 0 0.7 miles deep. It's on Mauna Loa. So we got to watch that area. If it was to come up that area and hit Hawaii, it would be a disaster. Like I said, we got to watch the west coast and everything just in case if it goes toward that way. But for now, it's showing signs over this way. So if you live anywhere near the coastline, be prepared. And I'll see you next time. And usually three to, I mean, seven to ten days. I'd say three days because this quake is moving fast and it's coming across the plate pretty quick. So I'd say one to three days. It may even happen right after I do this update. Anyway, stay safe. Let's and I'll see you also next take time. a look. And we'll be watching. Uh, at another news from uh, CBS Los Angeles about Palo Verde's fault on the same 24th of September. A new earthquake concern tonight along our coast. Researchers took a closer look at a fault system running through Palos Verdes. They say it's capable of triggering a catastrophic earthquake. KKL 9's Lauren Posen spoke with the one and only Dr. Lucy Jones to break down the research. Lauren. Well, Pat, let me tell you, I learned a lot more than I thought I knew about earthquakes today after speaking with Dr. Jones. So this Palos Verdes fault, that's not new. But these Harvard scientists found something new about it they say could potentially cause the big one to strike. Underneath the stillness and beauty of the Palos Verdes Peninsula is a fault zone. It's mostly underwater and goes directly under the peninsula into some highly populated areas of the South Bay, like Rancho Palos Verdes, Rolling Hills Estates, but also through Long Beach and Los Angeles harbors. Living near the fault, there's always that potential for an earthquake. I'm glad I live here instead of Florida. You know, they have hurricanes and things like that. And Texas tornadoes, I can deal with this. Scientists believe the fault is made up of a segmented network of faults. But a new study from Harvard University suggests they're interconnected and could produce a magnitude 7.8 earthquake. That's much more destructive and deadly than the 1994 6.7 Northridge earthquake. What this study did was say, we think these multiple strands can add up like they were individual strands and make it really long, and it's the length of the fault that determines how big a magnitude can be. Seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones says this is just a study and shouldn't change the way you think about earthquakes. It's not in the hazard map. This is two scientists that have said, we think this is the way it works. Jones says another thing to consider is the Palos Verdes fault slip rate, or how fast the two sides of a fault are slipping 
relative to one another. So if it does have these really big earthquakes, they're really quite infrequent. And this study didn't narrow down that slip rate at all. One to six millimeters is a pretty big range. Those who live near Palos Verdes Fault say the potential for the big one is just part of living in California. We're always going to eventually experience that. So we just need to be prepared. So the USGS will review the study and its findings when it goes to update its hazard maps in 2025 and decide whether or not to include what was found in this study in those maps. And those maps really point out uh, dangerous areas like earthquake zones, volcanoes, and landslides, and they're updated every six years. That's why we're waiting for 2025. Reporting live in Rolling Hills, Lauren Posen, KCAL 9 News. All right, Lauren, thank you. Always a reminder to, to be prepared as no much doubt. as you can. Mm -hmm. Again, large solar flare from the sun and plasma filament eruption opposite region. You see, there was a, a, a massive solar flare from the sun on that same day of uh, 24th September 2022. Time will not permit me to go further uh, on major events of 24th of September, a lot of things happen, a lot of things. If you are familiar with the media, with the social media, you will note that so many ugly things happened. Then lastly, towards the last week of September, so many things happened as well. Starting from uh, the United Nations General Assembly meeting that I, I stated earlier, and most of the things discussed was based on the high magnitude of crisis globally in all sectors. Then, another thing that happened during the last week of this September um, was Russia annexes four region of Ukraine, which is against the international law, and this could lead to a potential third world war. Then, another thing that happened was a uh, Nord Stream. Nord Stream pipeline for sabotage and this will certainly affect the Europe in one way or the other. You know, Nord Stream pipelines were damaged and this is the medium whereby Russia supply uh, energy to Europe and if case not taken to resolve this issue, the whole Europe will soon go on uh, on blackout. There's going to be blackout throughout Europe if care is not taken. Yes, blackout will take place because <clears throat> the winter is coming and without energy, without gas, Europe won't survive. So I want us to pray <clears throat> that God should protect his children in, in Europe, all the children of God, that God should protect them in Europe. Then above all, I want us to be to be very conscious of all these events happening around the world and be closer to God. Then another thing that I want to <clears throat> I want to quickly uh, mention is uh, NASA's that mission test to defend the Earth from impact of an asteroid. You see, on the 26th, I think yes, that should be 26th of uh, September. Uh, data carried out um, nasa rather sorry nasa carried out a test to 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 change the trajectory of an asteroid which could pose danger to the earth so it was successful but my concern is that um, as the mission was carried out what is the probability that the said asteroid will not collide with another asteroid to affect the Earth planet? You see, so many people were, were anxious about this mission. Though NASA is trying to defend the Earth <coughs> from receiving impact from asteroids, you know, a lot of, a lot of asteroids through the earth this year a lot even um, on the 22nd 23rd 24th of this month 
even up to 29th of this month series of asteroid pass through the uh, pass near the earth a lot of asteroid but we thank god that none of those asteroids hit the earth so we don't really know the the result of what nasa has done we don't know maybe there's going to be future threat towards uh, against the earth from asteroid i want us to be praying that god should protect us in this end time because so many things are happening and i think most christians aren't aware of all these things so many people are not bothered about all this end time event and for you not to be bothered simply means one day you'll be caught unaware and i pray that you never be caught unaware in the mighty name of jesus god will give you the grace to take your stand on the face of uncertainties god will guide you god will strengthen you god will give you that grace to be closer to him i think that is what we need uh, at this moment and i want you to know one thing the world will be in chaos there will be more catastrophes because if this did not happen antichrist will not come to the scene and as you can see i think the reign of antichrist is at the corner if, if you are if you are if you are familiar with all these end time events you will note that the reign of antichrist is at the corner so that is why all these events uh, they are happening at a very high magnitude so without chaos antichrist cannot come to the scene so when there is chaos then antichrist will come into the scene um, in order to bring uh, peace to unite the whole world and to begin his, his reign so i want us to prepare very well that god should guide all his children that god should empower all his children that god should uphold us so that we will not fall victim of end time events so as you take your stand the lord will be with you in the mighty name of jesus and i want to plead i'm begging in the name of the lord as you are praying for financial blessing praying for prosperity um, praying for so many things i want you to be praying about end time event as you are conscious of um other part of uh, services towards god i want us to be conscious of end time events they are those events they are very very vital and necessary for us to observe in order to know the timing and the manifestation of those end time events in order to be closer to god so as not to miss god's kingdom because globally few people are conscious of all this event why majority are not even bothered so i'm begging you in the name of the lord be closer to god and make sure you take your stand no matter what no matter what will happen in this end time take your stand and pray to god to give you grace to stand firm on the face of uncertain things as well the lord live and the spirit lives the lord will protect you the lord will guide you the lord will prepare you for his kingdom and the lord will give you grace to fight to the end to endure to the end stay blessed till we meet again